Oh, wow. She's... What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to reacting to Moonpools in my room music video. So guys, we are back with another solo from uh, one of the Mama Moon members. This time we have uh, Moonpool, and I believe this is um, the very first solo music video we have from Moonpool. So I'm guessing this is maybe, this is this her debut as a solo artist? I'm not actually sure uh, about that, or if it's just the next one that is the uh, debut, and this is just maybe like something she did while still not, maybe it's like a pre-debut thing. I'm not completely sure. But I really, really enjoyed uh, Moonpool's Lunatic, which is her uh, most recent uh, title track, her most uh, recent music video. So I'm really excited to see uh, how her first uh, music video is going to be. So let's just get right into Moonpool's In My Room. All right, uh, Moonpool's In My Room. Let's put on some uh, English captions and go. I don't know what era this is from. Like Mama, Mama Moose Eras. Oh, okay. You didn't get Bob. Oh, wow. She's taking the more jazzy route. Love this uh, layered rapping. It's basically harmonizing, but in a rap. Mm. Ooh, a little change up on the instrumental. Love the love how kind of groovy it is. Mm. Oh. Wait, who's that? Who's who's this person that's singing right now? Because it doesn't say any feature or anything. Maybe it says in the description or something, but interesting. This is good. Oh, two, two more pills. A, a third one as well. That's that's pretty cool, mate. Not done. Pretty well done. Wow, the editing is, is really good. Like uh, the way they clone her. Mm, wow. You see, it's nice, slow, uh, relaxing uh, instruments. It's, I was not expecting this at all. Ah, Moonpool's uh, In My Room. The music video itself was, ha has a very nice chill uh, vibe to it. Just the video because it has this uh, like 8mm film uh, effect on it. So it looks like it's a bit old. But it also it, it kind of gives you a, a nostalgic, relaxing feeling just uh, looking at it. Because of that uh, kind of grainy uh, film effect we're getting. And just this song... Uh, it's itself is so good. I was not expecting uh, Moonpool's first uh, song to be a jazz song her first uh solo thing as uh, to be a jazz song that that's really impressive to me uh, especially because she's the rapper but she can still sing this well that she decides for her debut uh, solo track to be very very vocal heavy i absolutely love that and i absolutely love the song i also love how they in the music video they kind of had her when she was rapping she she kind of was rapping 
on top of herself. But uh, and then in the music video, they had herself as kind of like glitching out, if that kind of makes sense. So it looks like there was like an after image of her that that really tied well in with that rap. Yeah, guys, that was uh, Moonpills in my room. And this was, as I said, not really what I was expecting, but I guess maybe it makes sense when uh, when we think about the fact that this is also the roots of, uh, I guess, Mamamoo as a group. This is the kind of music they have uh, the roots in, both with, like, Mr. Uh, Mr. Am Ambiguous and Piano Man. We have these... Uh, kind of uh, retro y uh, songs, a bit more jazz, groovy uh, songs, and um, or maybe blues uh, songs. And Moonpool is kind of uh, hitting that same vibe for her uh, solo debut, which I find very, very interesting. And it fit her very well. I'm really happy that we get. To uh, to hear her vocals like this because I I believe at least in the in the first couple of songs like in the first couple of title tracks uh, she doesn't sing as much because she mainly raps uh, so it's nice to hear her actually execute this kind of genre just on her own that's really really cool but yeah anyways guys please let me know what you guys thought about Moonpills in my room down in the comments below and I guess I'll see you guys next time.